Hi folks, Bob Collins for Diver Supply. In this video, I'm not going to be talking about tanks and I'm not going to be talking about BCDs. I'm going to be talking about tank straps. Now, what I've got here is I've got a tank strap that utilizes the plastic cam. I've got a tank strap that has a stainless steel style cam and this is a tank strap that utilizes what we call a quick release tank strap. Now the BCDs back behind me here use a variety of the tank straps that are on this particular tank and I'm going to get some close-ups show you how these are used and I think I may be able to point out a couple of things about tank straps which some of you may know as cam bands but during this video, they're going to be called tank straps. This Aqualung plastic cam is like this one that I've got right down here on the bottom. And on this one, let me get this turned around so we get a good close up. It's a curved cam. Now, why do we call it a cam? Well, it's because it's thinner on one end and fatter on the other right here. This part of the cam is actually flat. And so what happens is when you're attaching for a right-handed person, I would be standing on this side, pulling across this way. So if you look right here, you can see this flat or slightly curved cam portion so that when you pull this across and this stands up like this and it stops like what you see right there what it's doing is it creates tension on the tank strap so if for some reason you get ready to tighten your your tank strap and when you pull it across it just lays over well unthread it a little bit like what you see here just unthread it give your strap tail a tug and once you've given it a tug, you can take your cam and just stand your cam up, hold, hold the tail, pull across, hear that little pop? That little pop against the tank lets you know that it's good and tight on the tank. Now, make sure that you take the tail and seal it down Velcro to Velcro so you don't have this tail hanging out like this to catch on somebody's wetsuit because what happens is when you do that, if this pops loose, then your tank can come out. So make sure that you're sealing down that Velcro so it stays put. On the stainless steel cam, it works exactly the same way. It threads the same way. They've usually got the same flat place or angle place right here on the end, the fat end of the cam, so that when you stand it up, you got that good tension on the tank strap. It works just like we see the one that's on the plastic cam. On the quick release, the quick release is a little bit different. It's, it's two pieces that hook together, uses a little D-ring and a latch system. So if I want to get this off of here, I'm just going to stick my finger in the latch system pull it across and I'm able to disconnect my quick release. Hook it back up, put it back in place and pull down and it snugs it up for me just like that. So that's the difference between the cam style and the quick release style. I'm going to show you a close up on the Aqualung, on the Dive Right on the Apex and on the Scuba Pro real quick and we'll close the video out. So here's a good close-up of the Aqualung cam. You can see this flat spot right here. This is set up so this would be on the left side, the wearer's left side of the tank and you would pull it across this way. So this is actually set up left-handed. Now you can just unthread this run it through the backpack and then run it back the other way so that it is now easier 
for a right-handed person to utilize. Sometimes some of the uh, manufacturers, and you can actually see right here, there's the strap. Once you run it through there, some of the manufacturers will put a keeper right here. So if you're going to change yours, make sure you look to see if there's a keeper stuck in there in case you're having trouble getting the tank strap out so that you can change it. All right, on the dive right, you can see the cam system utilizing the stainless and this is a right hand pull. Let's look at the next one. Now, this is the quick release on the Scuba Pro, kind of like the one I showed you on the tank. You can see where the D-ring hooks in here. And all you do is pull it across, hook it into that slot and close it. And if you need to adjust it, you can adjust it here and here for the diameter of your tank. One thing that I like about the Scuba Pro is if we look right here, there is a finger notch so that you can get your finger in here and pull this away from the tank to loosen this. There's an advantage on this over the Aqualung that I'm getting ready to show you. Now here's the one from Aqualung slash Apex it has also got the little uh, slot here that you put the D-ring in. It's adjustable on either side for your tank diameter. And the only big difference between this one, remember the Scuba Pro had like a finger loop that you would put your finger in and pull away. On this one, you have to hook your finger in the end of it like that and pull out to get it to come loose. If this is super tight on the tank, uh, it can be a little bit difficult to get this pull loose and get it off of there. One of the things I do like about this system is that when you close this, it's got kind of a double action style close. So when you close it, it basically stops right here, especially when it's tight on a tank, so that it doesn't instantly pinch your fingers. And once it reaches here, you finish closing it just like that. So that's a quick look at tank straps utilizing the plastic cam system, the stainless cam system, the quick release, like with the little finger pull that Scuba Pro has, or the end pull like the Aqualung slash Apex has. Again, I'm Bob Collins for Diver Supply. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. We're almost to 7,000. Really would like for you to be one of our new subscribers as we head toward 10,000. Again, thanks for watching. Dive safe out there.